Hello, welcome to new Sin Anatomy video. Today I'll give you a brief overview how you can use hardware synths like the IK Multimedia Uno synth with effect processors on your iPad. The setup is only an example and could be made also with other gear available on the market. First you need is a hardware synthesizer. This could be an analog or digital synthesizer or a drum machine or more. I have here the Uno synth which is a monophonic analog synth. You can use also a monologue, bass station or any other synth you like. Then we need also an iOS device. This could be any iPad, an iPad Air 2, iPad 2018, which is a bit more powerful than my iPad, an iPhone or an iPod Touch. The main question is here how to get the signal from the hardware synth to an iOS device. To achieve this, you need an audio interface that is class compliant. Easy to say, this interface doesn't need drivers and works normally with iOS devices. For example, I have here the older Apple Jam audio interface which is very compact and perfect for my travel setup. It has only one input, but no output. It has also an additional gain control for the perfect input signal. A good point for this interface is you get a lightning cable in the box and a USB cable. There are several other interfaces on the market from Steinberg, Focusrite, iConnectivity, connectivity and more, which has more input options. If you have now an audio interface that doesn't have a lightning cable in the box, you need to buy one adapter, hashtag dongle. It's the camera connection kit. It's available on the market in two versions, one with a single USB and one with an additional lightning input. I recommend you to get the USB free version with the additional port because uh, this allows you to charge the battery of your iPad or to connect the power bank. If this is done, the next question is how can I route the hardware synth in the iPad effect processors? The logic step would be probably a door for the iPad, which you already know from the PC Mac side. But for me, the simplest and best app here is AUM from Kimatica, which allows you very quick to create many channels of audio and mini with different routings, with effect processors and more. I connect now the Apple Jam to the iPad and it will be recognized by the AUM in the hardware input settings. Here, for example, Jam Mono Input. Once selected, the audio will be routed here from the iCal Multimedia Uno synth to the iPad. This procedure is, is always the same for every audio interface. When this is done, you can add effect apps to your audio single chain, including audio units version 3, apps which are audio unit plugins for iOS, not comparable with classic PC and Mac plugins. How many iOS apps you can use at the same time depends on the power of your iPad. Here, for example, I have Cosmonaut Space Explorer from Reesmaker. I decide here for this app because you asked me in the sound demo before how you can work with iOS effect apps with your hardware synths. In the same audio chain you can also add a second effect and even more. Now for example I have your Discord 4 from Audio Damage loaded. Beside this you can also change the sample rate and other parameters directly in AUM. Last but not least the record process is here super easy. I use here a Eurac mono cable because the Uno scene doesn't have a big mono output and it goes straight to the iPod gem, further to the iPad. The gem doesn't have an audio output, so I use the headphones output to listen to the sounds. I record also here directly in AUM the sounds and export it later then to my favorite door on my Mac. So I hope you get a good idea how you can work with iOS apps with your hardware synthesizer. This setup is for me very handy, super mobile and perfect for traveling. For me it's also a nice hybrid setup that shows nicely that hardware works great with software solutions. The OPD Jam is for many musicians maybe not the perfect interface due to the lack of many inputs or outputs. But there are many good bigger interfaces available that are better for bigger studios. I use also in the studio some other interfaces like the Arturia uh, Audio Fuse which works also great with iOS. For me it's also important to repeat here that the camera connection kit is essential for your setup if you want to work with iOS devices. Also please don't buy any third party adapter from eBay for example. This will work for some weeks and uh, after no longer so invest a bit more in the original Apple ones. So in the final I hope you get a good overview how my setup works. I will do also in the near future a review of the Focusrite R-Dog which is also a nice solution for iPad musicians. So please let me know in the comments below how do you work with iPad apps and external hardware. If you have a problem with your future setup or your actual setup, please ask me in the comments below. I try to help you as soon as possible. And as usual, if you like this video, please give a positive thumb and a subscription for more future videos. Both things doesn't cost anything, but it's a super support for me. Big thanks and hope to see you very soon in one of my next videos. Bye!